So today I'm going to show you giving a based upon a chemical formula, how it can be identified its structure based upon numerous tests such as IR spectrum or mass spectroscopy, CNMR, HNMR. I have done two other previous examples before, so make sure you check them out too. So first of all, as you, if you have watched my previous video, is that if you want to do the soft question, you have to first find the degrees of unsaturation. Are we dealing with the aromatic ring or not? But in this case, you can already tell that it is not aromatic rings because there's only four carbon, but you will always do. So, for that to be the case, let me make it a bit better angle. There you go. So, there will be 2n positive 2 minus x divided by 2, where 2 is the number of carbons, x is the number of hydrogens. Now, using this rule, if you're going to replace one hydrogen with one halogen, which is in this case bromine, and we're going to remove one hydrogen with one nitrogen, which is nitrogen in this case. So this, in a sense, means we're going to add one, remove one. So these two would neglect, and this would like remove one another. So this would then be a simple, easy calculation. 2, 4, positive 2, negative 6, 2, 8, 10, 4. This will give you 4, 2, there is two degrees of unsaturation. So this means it's not aromatic. So then it means they can be whether two C double bonds or one triple double bond. Okay. Now then we're gonna have go back to IR spectroscopy, our good friend. I really like that because it's very easy and it tells you a lot of things. So we have one major pick at 2249. You always have your friends table which we give it an exam. You see here, um, I mean, so here you can already see in the 2 to 50, we get we have a one natural group. So this means we all have we are dealing with one triple bond and not two double bond. Okay, so this is one triple bond, not two double bond. Okay, so this means it's that one, not that one. Okay, good, and this. I think that because here there is no OH or anything, so there is no like a broad peak like that. It's not like so there is no OH, and this usually t doesn't tell you anything, right? This peak here doesn't really indicative of a strong um, functional group that we can identify. So that's that. So we know it's one CN peak for that. Then we're gonna go here. Here, what are you gonna do? The the key here is just you subtract this bodice and you will see what we left off. So we know 147, negative 68, 79, okay? 79 base pair here. And what is 79? Do we know 79, we have one bromine mass is 79. So this means there's a single bromine, okay? So this fragment is single bromine, which is interesting. Then we have 54, 174, negative 54, gives us 93 um, 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 weight, which is, I believe, should be a bromine with a CH2. Let me find out. Bromine with 12 plus 2. Yes, there you go. So, bromine, 1 carbon, 2 hydrogen. This give you um, something like that. Bromine... X, we don't know, but um, one hydrogen here, one hydrogen there. Okay, this is our second fragment. So we you know we're dealing with this kind of um, thing. So let's quickly find a CNMR. CNMR. Okay, very easy. Just three CH two. Okay, so, okay, again, picking down indicative of CH2. If you pick it up, it's indicative of CH or CH3. Then it changes. If it's, then you have to find out which, but in this case, it's all pointing now, so it means we are dealing with CH2. Um, usually, you will be given this type of carbon NMR that you will be easily, can easily tell where is CH2 or where is not. So then we have one here, and again, for that, you'll have to refer to the table. So, table. Okay, now it's between 120. Where is 120? 120, there you go, it's very easy. CN, confirming our previous find out. Okay, very good. Again, if you can see, yeah, good, good. 
So again, C and it's very easy. CH2 one C N. Okay, very good. And lastly, here we're gonna just find out how many hydrogens we have. So we have six hydrogen, and we are seeing the um, the ratio is similar between each, so it can be three, three, three. It, it gives us nine, so it must be two H, two H, and two H, giving us a total of what six. Okay. So here it is triplet. So here is triplet, right? Because we're given three, so it's a triplet. Here again is triplet. Here it's multi, um, it's five, which are called multi -tate. You can say pentate, but you usually go with M. So what this means is if, if it's three, it means that there was CH2 here, and with the X, okay? And here, similar to that. But if it's five, it means it was between two CH2. So our X was between two CH2. So why? If it's between two CH2s, it would give us five because we know it's two plus two is four and using N plus one rule, it gives us four plus one, five, okay? Now I'm not gonna go into detail of um, the theory behind it because I, because it's gonna take a long time, but usually the scientists go through this. Say if you have four neighboring hydrogens, you add it with one, that gives you five, which is why five. So based upon that, let's see if we can um, quickly find out. So we know there's a one fragment of Br using the mass, mass spectroscopy. Let me, yeah, so we know one, Br, one CH2 here, okay. One CH two here, okay. Then what? Then we have um, um, we are left with four. So then we have one nitrogen there. So what it means is that we must have one carbon here. We must have one carbon here. That gives us two hydrogen, right? Two hydrogen and one that is. Okay, does it make sense? So what it means is that we have two neighboring hydrogens. Okay, two neighboring hydrogens. So this is, let me make it a better one here. So. Okay. There you go. Okay, you can see we have our BR one there. This is the one that has had pentate in it. This was the one that was like that. Okay, because it's pentate. This was the one that was triplet because neighboring with that is CH2. This is CH2, this is CH2. Neighboring to that is one, just two. So it would be two plus one triplet. Neighboring to that is um, as two, which two plus one is triplet, but here is two, two, four plus one, which is five. Okay, so I hope, hope you guys made this video beneficial. So let me just, in case if you guys want to see it in red, like I do in other videos. Okay. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and leave me a like, please. Thank you.